Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today's video is our favorite video, and that's a Dollar Tree haul. Dun, da, da, da. This Dollar Tree haul is from four different Dollar Trees. If you didn't see my previous shop with me when I went to those stores, I'll link that in the description box below. But this is basically everything that I found. Lots of Halloween, fall, and even some Christmas. All right, y'all, without further ado, I always like to start with the thing that I was most excited about and I was most excited about. Dun, da, da, da. These Christmas florals. How could you not be obsessed with these? When I saw them, I was like, OMG. So that bell is annoying too. They are shedding, so you want to give them a coat of hairspray spray or you want to mod podge these babies down because not only the glitter but the snow falls off too but this is the fern it just says doll it says fern christmas house established in 1996 but these are absolutely beautiful i think that the color is spot on it looks like something you would find at walmart or target so i definitely love those this is another option it has like the cute little white balls on there and this one is called the frosted greenery same from the christmas section and here are a few of the picks that i saw how amazing are these little bells? So it's like little balls and bells. They had the same style in silver, so I think this would be amazing for a door wreath, for one of those just super thin little wreaths. And then these are cool. These are called decorative picks. They don't have a style, but they came in white, gold, silver, and then this rose gold color, which I love. Could you imagine these like stuck inside of your Christmas tree? I'm gonna have to go back and get a bunch more because they are a adorable these are new for me this year i don't believe i saw them last year they're just like little santa i guess like what would you call it? i would call it, i guess you call this a gnome right like a little gnome head these are different because they come inside the pick already there were a few different options of these led lights that i saw so this one is just the wired one i guess it lights off almost like that crystal blue color i love these led lights because i like the little gold leafing that it's on so i thought that was pretty and kind of cute they also have these ones this is the led light set which is just in green oh i didn't know i got green Ooh, i don't think i like green anyway these are good because it's just battery operated and then for halloween i wanted to put these on this little thing right here so i got 20 of the mini lights that are from dollar tree good deal can't beat it with the bat got those one of the best dollar tree finds are these larger size ornaments that they have these are in clear which i absolutely love because you can diy make your own color and really personalize but dollar tree has ones that are even bigger in red and silver and i use those to help fill up like sparse areas in my christmas tree but hopefully i'm going to be doing a different color tree this year because i've done like a bunch of different dollar tree trees so hopefully we'll do something maybe in the rose gold family but i'll have to see and then you can put paint inside of here and you can have your own custom color or style that you want so I just got two of those another cool Dollar Tree find are these large snow globes they do have them in a smaller version this one is pretty big I thought maybe we could do something for Halloween with the kids so I just picked up one of those about a week ago I started looking on DollarTree.com to see if I could see any of the new Christmas stuff and they do have some things posted on there because I wanted just to get an idea of what they were going to come out with this year so I saw these on there and they're just little gnomes like little gnome heads this one says believe with a gray background and then this one says welcome and i really like this one because i like all the different plaid patterns that they have here um i like this one i thought that one was really really cool and this one says welcome and it's pretty big if you see the size of it it's long enough that you could put it on your door and it would be seen like it's not super small so those were the only two signs that I got, but they did have one other gnome one, and I shared that in the video. One of the last Christmas things that I picked up was this little unfinished Santa. You can paint him with the kids. You can do it yourself and add it into your decor. It's super adorable. I love it, and I cannot wait to customize it. I like that it's just plain, and you can kind of do your own thing. I believe that's all the Christmas stuff that I picked up, so now let's move on to Halloween. The light is making it look weird. So here's the sign that I picked up, which I love. It says homemade apple cider served here and i love it because it's neutral it's not just like orange and leaves and pumpkins it's kind of like that neutral vibe that you could leave up a little bit after thanksgiving or you can put up before and after you know what i mean i just love that it's neutral and it's not like bam in your face fall so i'm glad i got that this is one of the black and white buffalo check welcome fall signs that are cute for a tiered tray and then i was finally able to find this one that had the little beads on there the wooden beads and this one says all year long i dream of autumn and if you guys think about all the things that we're always selling dollar tree get rid of the glitter do more new neutral colors this is spot on not a single ounce of glitter the colors are good and i love that they even added this little wooden 
I was really shocked to see these little pumpkins still left. They had them in orange with the little H on them. And then this one is kind of shorter, so it's good you can pair them together. And here is an S, and it's in white. The, the white one is my absolute favorite, but I think pairing them together is super cute. I was, I was pretty shocked that they weren't all bought up because typically stuff like this is always taken. So they had two of these longer signs at Dollar Tree in black, and then they also had this wooden color. I think this is really cute. I just, I wasn't a huge fan that it has the pumpkin cut out. Like, if you just left it plain, then it kind of lets people do with it what they want for fall or Christmas, whatever, but you can always fix that. So I got that. Here are some of the galvanized little Halloween signs that I love. This one is just a little ghost, and I got three of those. So we got Manny, Mo, and Jack. I'm <laughs> just kidding. This one says beware and this one says creepy. I'm going to try to spray paint them more of my colors. So hopefully that will work and I'll share it with you guys in a Halloween's hacks video. Here are two of just the Dollar Tree little spider cobweb. It also had like this creepy cloth, which is also like a cheesecloth. This one is in black. They also have it in brown. So there are a lot of options if you want to add this to your fireplace, if you want to do something like that. How cute is this little tray from Dollar Tree or is it a bowl? They call it a tray, but it's actually like a bowl. It has three different little skull heads. You could put chips, pretzels, snacks in there for the kids. You could even use this for a party. Dollar Tree has just been busting out these little signs. This one says, have a spooktacular Halloween. It's black and orange. It's pretty small in size, but it would be good for a tiered tray. They had these more DIY wooden stickers. This one has like the little spooky haunted house. It has a boo, it has a bat, it has a spider. The only downside is this is glitter, but it's okay, we'll try to figure that out. It says uh, Crafter Square DIY stickers. These are the unfinished, it's called Harvest DIY words. So they have welcome fall, farm fresh. Well, this one's broken, hello fall. Give thanks. You know there's gotta be a blessed somewhere in there. And it, it's not a Dollar Tree something if it's not blessed. And then last but not least, we have Hello Autumn. Here are two unfinished little pumpkins that you can add just some type of craft paper, some wrapping paper, anything that you want to customize it, you could do that as well. So I picked these two little guys up in case I decide to do a boo bag for my kids with just different little Halloween treats and stuff like that inside of it. But I thought this would be cute because you could put their name on the top with the Cricut machine and it's a nice size and you could really add some ribbon to it and make it look super cute. So if I do do that, I will definitely film what I put inside. So here is one thing that's gonna go inside if I do do it. It's just like a little pumpkin face. <laughs> How cute. These little candles are super cool. A lot of people were sharing these on Instagram. I don't know if they're the kind that actually bleed red, so I'll have to light it and see. But I think Family Dollar has one that actually bleeds. So we will see, but if you wanna do a Halloween gift basket, these are definitely cute to put inside of there. Here are the fall Dollar Tree placemats. I only got two of them because I wanted to share turning them into a pillow for a TikTok video. I love the pattern on here. It's really, really pretty. I think that it's neutral like it's neutral enough that you could use it up until thanksgiving and it's not too in your face so i like that look at these little halloween syringes you put some shots in here you put them out as little party favors you could even just do drinks for the kids if you're having a kid party and you're keeping it pg but for the adults put some shots in here and you can just lay them out super duper cute i love that i think it's a great deal that you can find for for a dollar perfect party favor then also they have this four piece of happy haunting little bowls. These are adorable. I love that it looks like a little cauldron or whatever that word is because it has the little feet. Here's another unfinished wooden piece for Halloween. It just says boo and it comes with three of them in there. And they're a pretty good size if you look at them compared to my hand. Definitely nice. Here are a few different options for ribbon. I got this orange and black black and white and then they have a bat one which i'll share in a close-up which is white and black as well so super nice i'm like adorable this buffalo one this buffalo check one can be used you know up until christmas so stock up on those if you are looking for them speaking of buffalo check these are the two to-go cups that i got in buffalo check black and white i thought this would be great if you're doing christmas gift baskets you can add these to the gift basket because they're not overly fall but they are in the fall section and these are always good especially now that i'm a football mom you guys my kids are playing football and i'm like on the go like after school they do practice and then they have games so i'm always trying to bring my wine with me in incognito cups and <laughs> 
<laughs> these these will work and you can put, put your name on it if you're looking for a much more fall option they have this one which is a pumpkin with the black and white straw and then they have this skull head which is silver which is super cute these are great party favors great gift bag fillers so if you are going to do a boo bag if you are going to do a gift basket for someone for halloween put these guys in there because they're adorable and they were only at one of the stores like the pumpkin was at one store the skull was at another store so i feel like a lot of people have gone in and gotten what they want and i was kind of getting the last of what they had i saw an adorable tiktok where this girl used different color skull heads inside of just like an archway and they were pink they looked adorable so you know i had to try to spray paint these little bad boys pink i'm gonna try we'll see and I even saw some where they put some succulents in their heads. So I'm going to give it a try, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So these little guys are much more fall. These are little wooden acorns. Adorable. An eight piece for a dollar. And these are little mushrooms. Why these make me so happy, I don't know. But they are making me happy for some odd reason. And I just want to paint them all like pretty pastel colors. So some more wooden pieces are this unfinished wooden crate, which we've all seen. They have these little unfinished wooden pieces, which are pretty good in size. If you look at it compared to my hand, it's called a wooden plaque, and I got two of those. These are definitely new for me. These are called craft wood. I don't know how long they are, but if you are trying to do a DIY picture frame, you can use these. I picked up four of them. Dollar Tree has their calendars coming out for 2022. And the back of these are super duper cute. So they have some that are like for Easter, some that are for fall. They have a few different fall ones and then a Christmas one. So if you want to use the picture that's just in here, get your calendar while you can because they will be gone. They will be gone and taken. Everybody will buy them up. This is new, I believe, because typically I never saw these at Dollar Tree, but it's the two-piece pumpkin carving set. You could put that inside of the boo bag too with a little pumpkin, then they could carve the pumpkin. Love that. They do have a lot of pumpkin carving stuff there so definitely check that out these are stickers which i thought were super cute they're like really on trend because of the color and the way that they're kind of 3d so they have one that's like a little book bag it says pop chic kiss me a little perfume on there this one i loved because it's all about coffee it has a hot coffee it has like a little dog caffeine queen and these are the ones that i see being sold on like tiktok and stuff and you can basically they're restickable i don't know if these are like restickable but these are cute and then this one is really cute because it says queen omg it has a little macaroon the peace sign so you could definitely do some cool stuff with these stickers they're really adorable for just a dollar here are two of just these little wooden wall hooks and they say simply blessed <laughs> it's not a dollar tree thing if it doesn't say blessed um, and I love that you can just use the hook portion of it. So cool. I picked this little Wi-Fi password sign up for a project that I want to do. I'm not going to just keep it like this. I want to do it for something else, but I will keep you guys posted if I actually do do that. You know, I had to get some candy. I've been wanting to make these chocolate chip Heath bar candies. Well, I've saw, I've seen, it's called like a brown butter chocolate chip cookie or something i saw it before and we've made it before but you need heath pieces so i picked those up at dollar tree and then when i was at the world's worst dollar tree on bustleton avenue it was absolutely terrible garbage horrible um i saw these hershey's hot chocolate mix and i thought wow you could use these for hot chocolate or you can make use these the actual mix for frozen hot chocolate so we're gonna give them a go six packets come in here for a dollar and you guys know it's about to be cozy season where we're just drinking all of the hot drinks so pick those up while you can the two makeup items that i got this one is wet and wild color icon eyeshadow it's an ombre eyeshadow and it says new but i doubt it but these colors are beautiful if you have a darker skin tone these colors are going to look fantastic on you with the gold and the mauve color but i want to swatch it real quick abs I, i'm afraid i'm going to mess it up so let's do this one. Ooh. can you see that or no let me see that's nice i'll do the one next to it wow the pigment is really good on here omg it's hard to see because of the light but that is nice sometimes you don't sometimes the color payoff is so like meh you're like mm. all right one more this is the wet and wild 
You Glow Girl. This is a loose highlight powder, which is kind of in like this pinkish shade. I will say that the packaging is fantastic. Mmm, it's like an icy. Okay, can you say? Wow, look, that's beautiful. I'm going to use that eyeshadow tomorrow when I do my makeup. All right, y'all. That is my entire Dollar Tree haul. I have to go now pick my kids up from school. I hope that you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the previous video where we actually did the shopping, and then you can see what I bought. If you liked the video, help me out. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend because sharing is caring, and it helps my little channel not to die. Leave the hidden word mammoth in the comment section down below. Leave it in a funny, snarky, cute kind of way, and I'll feature all of the real ones in my next video. So if you're a real one, and you stay to the end, leave the word mammoth in the comment section so I can know who you are. I love you guys. I'll be over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm over there 24 seven. So if you want to follow me there, I'm just at sensational finds. I hope wherever you are, you are safe, happy and healthy. Know that I love you very much. And I'm so grateful to have you guys here. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye you guys.